Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Master Rob here. Welcome back to the Ovi No Gems account. Today we are going to be running over what's gone on recently on our Your Army account and let's play playthrough. So we're coming up to episode 30 of this. So this is uh, starting to get into its age. We're starting to level up a little bit. And as you can see, the base is coming along nicely. And for some reason, I designed this ridiculous base. I just can't. Why can't I click that? Got There we go. I designed this ridiculous base, which is defending our Christmas tree. Yes, we actually got a Christmas tree. Santa came to visit. And you know what? Let's take a present. There we go. 5,000 elixir from that present. So I decided to protect this uh, Christmas tree. But the actual thing about it is you can spawn right on the Christmas tree. But nobody seems to want to take it out. Thank God. So we should be all right there. And you can see the base is looking very nice indeed. We've got some stuff we can remove here, including a sexy gem box, which could mean we can do two raids actually in this video, which would be pretty cool. So we're going to go through and we're going to do a live raid to kick it off. Then we're going to have a look at defense, go over our war, and then possibly come back and do another live raid. I'm currently just barching. Uh, we're still obviously going for loot. Anything over about 70,000 loot is quite nice. Uh, I've had some good ones recently, not amazing, um, but as you can see, today has been dry as anything. I don't. I think I've raided once today. Otherwise, when I, whenever I've been looking, I've been getting these 20,000, and it's just not even worth me attacking. And it doesn't look like we're gonna find one. Ah, there we go. That's where we're at. So let's take this base down. Uh, we might even be able to three-star this base, actually, looking at it like this. Uh, we are barching, or at least we'll definitely be able to take his loot, because obviously his loot's on the outside here. So let's spawn up our troops to take out those outside buildings. That wasn't the best start to a barch, because the barbarians have kind of split up, and some of them have gone for the buildings at the rear here. Uh, but we'll let those carry on. The archers are taking out the elixir for us, which is nice. Uh, let's throw these guys in to take out these troops, that, uh, to take out these down here. Go archers! Right, cannons dropped. Oh god! Oops, I didn't mean to spawn that loads of times. Itchy trigger finger. And there we go. We should be breaking into that, which will be quite cool. We're going to spawn up some of our barbarians at the top. Followed by the archers, as always. This guy is a multinational guy, which is very nice to see. He's got all the flags all around. But you can see his loot has been looted. It is dropping fast. And we've been able to take most of it. He's still got a little bit, actually, in his collectors in the middle there. Uh, should we put a heal down? Let's drop a heal down in the center. We probably didn't need to do that, but I just wanted to keep the wizards topped up. But the wizards aren't even in uh, the heal zone. So that was kind of pointless. But it looks like we're going to be able to go through and three-star this base and absolutely destroy it, which is a great start to our Your Army episode. Just getting that loot. Thank you very much, Zelta from Schwazer Schwachar. I can't say your name, but there we go. 110,000 gold, 82,000 elixir. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty tight. Uh, anyway, let's uh, re ask for some troops and get our troops going. They are going. So we might be able to do one more raid. So as I said, we're going to be looking at some of the defenses we've done recently as well to see how this base is going. Uh, but I, as you saw from that, I have been barching. Uh, this was my last barch attack before that here. And you can probably tell that this had pretty good loot as well. But this one was a lot easier. All of the loot was in the collectors around the outside. So I'll just quickly show you this raid. It's only a minute long and we're going to speed it up by two. So it's only going to be about 30 seconds long. So we'll first of all, go in with Barbarians followed by the archers and we're just able to pick off the loot now this guy's name is very strange it's like an e and then kind of a squiggly line that looks like a person holding a flame and then a heart so kind of a strange name but hey ho and we were able to go through and take out his loot now we didn't really need to go for the three star in this one as long as we got the one star and got the loot i was happy so uh, we left that a little bit early but that was some really easy barching oh thank you very much crouch 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 i think i used crouch so, how has the defense log gone? Not that well. But one thing you will notice from them is from the most recent two, there's actually not been that much loot taken. So this was a 17%. I had a lot of loot, and he hardly took any of my loot. So let's see how this went down and why this happened. First of all, they spawn in at my Christmas tree. This could be a Christmas tree troll base because everyone's like, oh, they spawn on the tree. It's going to be safe. But actually, the tree, look at that. That is an absolute destruction zone right there in the center. This is the tree of destruction uh, we've got right here. It's our hidden Christmas present. So he's gone in trying to take out my loot from the inside because you can spawn right next to it. But we've got a couple of wizards, a mortar, archers all around, uh, another mortar. We've got two mortars actually. And we've also got our clan castle troops spawning right there. And it's so easy for us to, to defend it. 
And that's kind of why I did it. I didn't do it for them to spawn there, to be totally honest, but it was more the idea of we were defending this Christmas tree for absolutely no reason, because obviously it's a Christmas tree and they can't take it. Or can they? <gasps> I don't know. Maybe there's an axe troop coming out. But as you can see, uh, James from Dark underscore Sky trademark. I doubt that it's a trademark name, but uh, had tried to attack it, and sadly he wasn't able to take it down, and he wasn't actually able to take much loot at all. I'm very, very happy with the amount of loot we got here. Especially, when he, I don't understand that he just threw in a few goblins, and they all got kind of destroyed. In go more to the center, they die, and it's just time for him to give up, which is a great, great time to give up. So let's have a look at the raid before that. Uh, the other ones actually down here weren't on this base, so. They're a little bit worse, actually. You can see the loot there's a little bit worse. But let's see how this guy did as well. So is this going to be another tree of destruction? No, it's not. He spawned on the outside. Archer's on the right. Going for the uh, mine collectors here. Now, on this one, we don't have that much loot. Uh, but it's not... I don't think it's even in the collectors. I mean, there is a bit of it in the collectors, but there's not much. In comes his giants. This is going to be interesting to see how he doesn't destroy the town hall here. Because they're already working their way on the town hall. That... Uh, Archer Tower must do so much damage to them and stop them from taking down because the mortar is stopped in the center as you can see there as well How do they not take out this town hall? I swear they don't even get a one star. Oh, they must get a one star. Oh, they do get a one star I don't even know what I was looking at. Oh, they just didn't get much loot did they? So the Giants are pushing in trying to take down the walls so they can take out the base They're able to get a one star so far uh, But the Giants all got demolished by the wizards and the minions in our clan castle troops and we were then able to take out the remaining load of troops right there. And again, a successful defense, I would say, because we've defended our loot. We didn't have loads of loot, but we defended what loot we had, which in my eyes is successful. So now it is for the big one. How did the war go? You saw me raid and you saw me get the six stars I needed. How did everybody else do? We, oops, wrong button, lost. Rank, rank, round, 76 to 91. Uh, that sounds like a radio station. 76 to 91 FM. This is defeat. Uh, 47 attacks won. They won 52. They used 60, <coughs> 63. We used 60. So they did use more attacks, but they won obviously a lot more of them as well. And their average destruction was also higher. But it was a great fight from our guys. We tried our best and we just came short at the end. Now, I showed you their uh, best attack from Luke. Now, ours actually changed, I think. I don't think it was Hazzy Boy that, that got it. No, it wasn't. So this is now changed, and this is a better raid, I believe. So we're going to have a quick look and see what the most heroic raid on our side was. <clears throat> so it starts off, the town hall's on the outside. I don't understand why people do that uh, in Clan Wars, but they do. And we're able to take out that town hall, obviously. And then in comes the attack from the left, from the bottom left, and the bottom right. So wall breakers with some golems. Very spread out, which is a kind of an interesting strategy. In his clan castle, though, which obviously he didn't lure out, he's got a dragon and some archers, which is going to be deadly and dangerous. But he's got a lightning spell to deal with the ground troops. Obviously, the lightning spell doesn't deal with the uh, dragons, so that's still going to be an issue. And has he got? He's got wizards that can take it down here. But on the left, the kings jumped in. The kings raged up as well, uh, which is always good. Uh, he's just dropped out of the rage, and he's taking the stuff down. These black peckers look insane. I love the black-looking peckers. I think they look better than the other ones, but I think they should have been like uh, max level should be black, but it's not. So you can see that the king and the pecker are kind of getting bullied by this dragon here, which is obviously bad for him. But it looks like he's just going to get a two-star. Uh, he's got two peckers going around the outside, so they should do a lot of damage together. And I think that is where he is going to get his two-star from. Go on, peckers! Go forth! Take out the barracks! And uh, one more! Oh my god, this is going to be a clutch two-star as well. Yes, there he goes. He just gets the 50% there and ends it early. That was... Hazza Boyton. Yeah, Hazza Boyton from obviously our clan Dragons of Ob. So that is it, guys, for what I've got to show you and that live raid. We're going to go and do one more live barge raid because we obviously got those gems from that gem box. So we can gem up some troops and go do another live raid. Uh, let's go in and have a look. So people have been asking me a lot recently as well. Uh, is it more satisfying this account because you don't use gems and the other one you do use gems? To be honest, no. It doesn't really make any difference. They're both really fun in different ways, I would say. So I guess it depends how people want to play it. But I like doing both. I think they're both really good fun. So this is a 50k. You know, we could find something maybe a bit better. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. We could take this one down. Are we going to be able to two-star it with Barch? Maybe. 
Uh, should we just, we'll just give it a go anyway. So let's give this one a go and see how we do. Please, no clan castle troops. Yes, no clan castle troops. Let's go in. Dun 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 barbarians. So they're going in ham. Hopefully they'll be able to take out that wizard. You know what? Let's lightning spell that guy. Let's take him down from the skies above. Okay, send in some more barbarians around the outside. We're just going to attack from this kind of bottom circle here. I know some of the troops are going for the outside buildings. Some of them have kind of run away and gone for the builders' huts, which is fine. Send all of those girls around. There we go. That should be a nice even attack. How are they going to do? Are they going to go in, take the loot for us, and get a... Yes, one star. We've got a one star. This wasn't really a good raid for loot, actually. Like, the way I did it wasn't great for loot. Uh, but it's quite an easy base. So hopefully, we should get a two star. Hopefully, we should get a three star, to be honest. Uh, that would be really nice if we can pull off a three star. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be able to. Yeah, we'll be able to. We, sh we can do this. We've taken down the town hall. We've taken all this guy's money, all of his beautiful Ribena from those little glass containers, <laughs> all the elixir, and we're able to take him down. Has this guy even got a Christmas tree yet? Bro, he hasn't even got a Christmas tree. Or he's, I guess he could have moved it, like, taken it down. But who takes down that Christmas tree? That is just not a Christmassy bad humbug to this guy. Uh, so there we go. Taking down the final bits there. Another successful live raid, thank God. And we got some more loot. Let's see if we can upgrade anything before we go. I'm not sure if we can. I think most of the things we have left are actually quite expensive to upgrade. Uh, so we have to kind of wait. Oh, no. There we go. We can upgrade our mortar. So our defense will suck at the moment. But don't worry. We've got the Christmas tree of death. In here, we've got the Christmas tree death zone, which hopefully should help us. So, there we are, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, smash the like button down below and leave a comment as well. Oh, people are asking why was the comment section off for the last couple of videos? I've actually been away these couple of days, so I haven't been able to uh, approve comments that obviously don't have like the Clash of Clans hack free gems, follow this tutorial, la la la, that will like hack your account. So, I haven't approved comments but we'll hopefully be approving comments from tomorrow again there will also be a very special vlog up soon so look out for that but until next time guys thank you so much for watching peace out